Welcome to HBTV. My name is John Woosley, and it is my pleasure to introduce to you our 2023 HBTV crew. Here they are. Noah Hallahan, senior and HBTV original live stream expert. Darvell Blanton, varsity basketball player by day, videographer, editor by night. Edie Olson, the karate master, social media manager, photographer, along with Mahala McGraw, social media manager, a junior, and a photographer as well. Azalea Armijo, the cat lady, and Canva wizard. Luke Otis, senior varsity basketball player, editor, videographer, Alana Elliott, social media manager and photographer, Josie Stokemeister, chief problem solver and varsity volleyball player, Ryan Bogus, an assistant producer on our live streams for HBTV, and our newest member to our crew this year, freshman Xavier Huckins, a producer in the making. So thankful for each of the members of the HBTV crew. We thank you for joining us here on HBTV, and we hope that you'll join us again soon. Welcome back here to the third quarter. It's 23-19. 23-19. That is from something. Up for the swordsman, Dave Fernandez, just playing some sticky lockdown defense on Eric Zanstra. Nearly got a five-second call. And here's yeah. Aaron Rignerus driving right on Guzzi and hmm. draws the foul. Elijah Guzman now with maybe his first foul, second foul. We have not had a lot of fouls, John. Been playing very clean. This is not a great start to the third quarter. But Aaron Regnerus rewarded for drawing the contact. It'd be nice if they gave that same treatment to Jeff Woosley, who's taken punches to the face. Man, it's kicks starting to off the on such a positive note. I don't know if I can handle all your positivity right now, Josh. I wasted it all in the first just half. <laughs> just got negative left. <laughs> Boxing out here, the swordsman. Hey, this Andrew Regnerus is a player to watch. He is. Man. And He's good. don't don't like the idea of him getting started early here at the line. Got to shut it down. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. Here's Jeff. See, they're not, now up by two. They're back. They're not really playing us in that that uh, two two one now. Big fan, big fan of that. Lodge Guzman kicks down to Esteban Santos to Jeff. Thought about the three. Kicks to Connor. Connor traveled. Careful. Hits the mid range. Connor Lemon. Rising fire. Two point bucket. Twenty five twenty one. Glad he got away with that one. I thought he might have shuffled his foot on the catch. And a steal. Dave Fernandez away with it. He's got Jeff. Give it to him. Oh, David, back to him. Wide open. Dave Fernandez. Big three ball. Come on. Oh, in wow. And out, man. Again, it's that right ball's there. just it's in there. It's dropping. David, another <laughs> steal. Back to back possessions. The man can play defense. Jeff. Oh, takes three. Nope. Just short off to the right. Elijah's going to hustle for that one. Good save to Jeff Woosley. Jeff going to set up the offense here. Esteban to Elijah the Hulk Guzman. Jeff playing him back. Yeah. Hey, you know what? They're playing him back. Take the shot. Got to get back, boys. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, I thought you poked it. It's going to be Aaron Regnerus again, guarded by Elijah. Oh, good. Esteban over and back. Hit the line. Great call. You're right. The coaches are saying he tipped it. It was a tip, but for those of you that know the rules of basketball, once he regained possession... There was a dribble on the line, and that is over and back. HB ball. Connor Lemon running some point guard now. A little bit mm -hmm. of a dynamic change here, maybe to get Jeff, you know, doing less work here. Oh, nice. Oh, nice play. Hey, good play call 
Good draw by James Woosley, but just couldn't get it over the top. Zanstra driving right. No way, that's an and one. No way. Yeah, you're oh. right, you're right, Josh. There is no way. <laughs> Thank you. I was going <laughs> to... I'm really glad because he went like this. He went like this at N1. Yeah, he did this on the ground. Yes. Ah, okay. uh, yes. Craig Sisson here in the booth with some clarification yes. for us. Thank you. I was losing my mind. <laughs> 21. Drives up, and it's good for two. Mm. Got to calm down. Blood pressure's getting high. Got to relax. Want to live past 60, John. That's my <laughs> goal. Love to do that. Oh, Josh, I... I think the key there is stop watching basketball. Man, I just, <laughs> boy, it does something to me. Dave Fernandez finds Jeff. Jeff really making an effort to get to the paint, John, tonight. Esteban, quick trigger, and Elijah, they're going to, oh, boy, they're going to call that on Elijah. Hmm. It looked like almost you could call it, I mean, on Eddie Zanstra. You could. It looked like he was shoving. Elijah a little bit. Yeah, here comes JP back in the game. Yeah, Said, uh, that, 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 that ref needs to be threatened now. So Yeah, third foul on Elijah. Boy, you're getting a swatted ball at your Get face. <laughs> here it comes. Oh, God. oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Man. What are we doing? Someone did not know who we're guarding. John, tough start here. Only up two now. Got to dial it in now. Let's calibrate, recalibrate, get set up. Take some good shots. Jeff looking at the three. Man, they're backing off so far. Mm. John, it's almost like they're disrespecting his shot now because he's taken so few shots this game. It's like they know he's going to drive mm. where he can really, I mean, what Jeff's always wanted to do. I mean, if he's open, kick and shoot. He can really start launching it. Esteban, first cut, second option, no good. They go to Jeff just as the outlet. Send down to JP. JP keeps the ball high that time. Good play mm. there, good shot, just no good. 25-23. In Zanstra Smith. inside to Smiths. Good Zanstra, Dave d him up. Shh. Back to Smiths on that far side. Smiths to Regnerus. Driving right. Looking for some help. Oh, Dumps it down JP. to Smiths. And off the mark. Oh, oh JP got fouled him. him. I thought JP fouled him the first time, too. <laughs> oh, John, the problem with that is Esteban did a fantastic job shutting down Regnerus, one of the mm. best players. JP did not need to help. I think JP was preemptively scooting out to help out on Regnerus, who's, who's been a problem, and I get it, but Esteban was handling business. You yeah. know, you don't have to leave your guy open down there. Just a little bit of miscommunication. Yeah. yeah, just another thing to keep in mind, that JP, I don't know, the biggest guy on the floor, you want to know that he's got your back. JP came over to help. His hands were kind of down, yeah. and especially coming there, helping in the paint. For hands up, I mean, if you're going to block a shot, your hand's that. already there. Hands need to be up and deflect the pass. That's a good point. Something to consider there as uh, Swordsman now just up by one. As Jeff brings it across the half line here, Zanstra guarding him, gets the switch. Man, a little shake so and bake shifty. action. Good kick. Esteban, Jeff, Dave Fernandez to Connor Lemon. Connor on the right side, drives, gets a reach foul, mm. uncalled. The guy hit him in the gut. Oh, yeah. Dude. And that's a foul. It's also not my favorite call. I do think, I mean, it was such a clear reach foul. The guy reached through his body. I mean, it was puncturing his jersey, you know, just got to call that. I just think when a turnover is forced by a foul, you know, you, you, got, you can't let them get away with that. Nonetheless, could push the lead past one here to two, and they do. It's 27-25. Heritage now with the two-point lead. And, John, I think offensively we've looked stagnant. The last three possessions that I've watched here, we've just kind of – maybe it's tired or it's stagnant or there's like a two-man game play call. I'm not sure what's going on, but we just look kind of – and Mason's in there now. looks like he – and Mason's a play runner, man. Look at him. He's going to do something out there. There we go. A little more motion. That's what I want to see, just a little more motion. Oh, Jeff, nice to Connor. Oh. Connor drops it in for two points. Oh, what a nice pass. And, John, that's – that was the possession where he had movement. You see there's screening, there's cutting, and Jeff over the top to Connor Lemon. Just a great pass. And then Connor, way to put it in. Love seeing him excel. It's 27-27. We'll drop you off for this timeout.
Welcome back here. Four to go here before the fourth quarter. Still in the third. John, something to notice here. Five team fouls now on HB and zero. I'm sorry, one now on Heritage. If you remember, it was flipped uh, yeah. the previous half. <laughs> yep. Like, we had no fouls, and they had, you know, 37. I mean, it's crazy. Now it's all going the other way, and the tide has shifted as well. Heritage gotten right back into this game. The score is tied. They're playing some just aggressive defense. Well, tides are shifting, and that's fine. You can have the third quarter. We'll take the fourth. That's the deal we'll make. Yeah, need to get some Pirates of the Caribbean up in here. Yes. Shift those tides. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Look at the assist. It's a dime. It's a dime. I don't know what those girls are holding up sign-wise. It should say dime on it. Just dime. And Connor, man, such a good cutter. I mean, right off that screen, just the way he slices down in the paint. Gave him a nice inlet. All right to the post. Trying to go at Woosley. And they travel. What you get? Hey, Jeff mismatch down there, down low. I love Connor. Help Step it. down. I got your back, Mason. You saw Mason just flying down there. Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get in this action too. And just nice. I mean, help defense is always a focus, but man, to help the helper, and especially down there on the block, it's huge. Dave Fernandez inside. Go back. Gets it. Gets it. <laughs> David Fernandez. I'll take two. Look at him. Look at the replay. Watch this. Look at this bad boy. A little hop. Ooh. Maybe did you travel? All right, turn that off. Let's not watch that. <laughs> just in case. Great take, Dave Fernandez. Oh, man. David, man, has become so smooth. He's really improved. To Jeff. Mason's got a nice post up there. Jeff Woosley drains it from mid-range. Flick of the wrist. And that's two points. Up six into the break. Man, pop that replay back up. That one that just happened. That Jeff mid-range. Just a little shake and bake. If you watch, look at the separation he's getting. Oh, you missed it there. Look at the separation he's getting. He's getting so much space between him and the defender. And, John, that happens because, because, because he drives early. Mm. He's just right away, first two plays of the game, took it to the rim. And since then, it was like, I'll take a black eye, I'll take a hit to the chest, and I'll get kicked in the – I'm going to keep going to the rim. And, and now, in the third quarter, end of the game, he has the luxury of mid-range freedom. I mean, yeah. it is beautiful. He's got so much space in front of him. He can shoot, can still drive if he wants to. Just opens the whole game yeah. up. Yeah, man, it's been said, you know, the definition of unguardable is to be able to hit all those all those shots, to be able to hit the three, to be able to get past the man and finish at the rim, and then to be able to just stop. Yeah. Stop right in the middle, rise and fire. And Jeff certainly, um, is he's able to do those, man. And just as a, as a sophomore, you saw Connor Lemon do it a minute ago, yeah. right, rise oh. and fire. Yes. And you got gotta love it, especially from those two sophomores. Yeah. Um, if you're oh, a Swordsman fan, that that's exciting. John, you said unguardable. I'm gonna spring one on you here. Spring it. Most unguardable HP player ever. Jeff Hoosman. <laughs> there you go. All right, he's on the floor right now, folks. There you go. We've been in business what 60, 70 years or so. Yep. The best ones on the floor right now. Period. Nothing. Outside of the current team um, was my intent there now I've got a force jo Joe Cowling was tough to guard dude because he could do those three he could do those three get to the rim hit the three right and especially his senior year he could hit that mid-range and he did many times and quick release yep I mean a, a quick release and a quick bucket there for Heritage now 33 29 four point game good call Joe Cowling animal love that guy Josh this is a team that's not going away this Heritage yeah. team there, there are some teams you can get a four point, six point, eight point lead and they'll kind of settle in and go away. Not not this team. Oh, Jeff. Jeff said Connor, go get one. He got whacked on the arm. The ref blinked for three seconds and missed it, but he still put it in. Watch the replay. Watch the smack. Right in the arm. Smack in the arm. Still hit it. Good steal, Connor. Go, Connor. Go, Connor. Do it. Oh, Connor up and good for two. John Connor is unguardable right now. He doesn't even need a mid-range shot. He's unguardable in the paint. He's forcing it. That last play. We call. Out. Yeah, what, on Jeff? No, on JP. On, J on JP? He's off 10 feet. Sorry. Hey, you, do you remember? Hey, hey, that's hey, the breathe, referee. Breathe, what did breathe, JP do to you a minute ago? Breathe. 
You better stay up on the high side this next <laughs> possession because he's about to – he's – I'm just – hey, he's, he's going to – that next that next, that next shot that JP blocks, it's going right at that guy. Job of that last possession. Jeff up top. He was waving Connor down. Hey, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Yeah. Connor went right down to the block, you know, put his rear end right into the defender and got gave Jeff an angle. And Jeff – Lasered that ball in, and Connor just went straight up on three people and, and scored. Like that's yeah. just that's just awareness. And he's probably thinking, "You guys made me do this." <laughs> <laughs> Connor's like, "I wanted to be at Sherry Young's party. My grandma's having a party, <laughs> and I got to be here." <laughs> Look how calm he is. He's like a gazelle, just ju just trotting down the floor. The Amazon. Yep. Yeah, dude, it's Tarzan. It's, oh, I'm sorry, the Serengeti. Serengeti, not the Serengeti. Amazon's a river. Unless he's a gazelle in a boat. He's a gazelle. What? What? Uh, uh, Here's Jeff, right in front of the swordsman bench. Step back, going right back to Connor. Oh. Yeah, and this time they get it. Yeah, that's a great call. I'm so glad that referee called it because the one with the ball right now would never have made that call for Connor. That guy does not like Connor right now. That's a joke. He's doing a great job. Okay, I, I was like, man, okay. I'm just all kidding. right, all right. He, uh, yeah, he's talk. doing great. He's doing a great job. Jeff spins left, goes left, pump fake, drags the foot all, oh, just missed it. JP, oh, oh there he is. JP making his presence felt out there, all six foot five of them. Gets the rebound, and he goes to the line, stands there, and says, give me the shot. Ready to shoot it. And JP, John, one of the better shooting big men from the line. And I, I, we've had lots of big men through the years, and it's, it's a typical struggle of a big in the NBA, college, any level, to struggle with free throws. But yeah. JP... I should have said that now before he shoots it, but he's a great free throw shooter. And even there, you saw, yeah, he missed it, whatever. The ball's in the rim. <laughs> it, it was in the rim and then rolled out. Josh, and he just your got credibility good just took a dive. Just took a dive. Hey, I'll bet you on this <laughs> shot. <laughs> oh, no. This shot's in. He's not missing two of these. He's a good shooter. Look at that. All right. Back where's, where my, where's my credibility? No, right back to where I was. Yep, 10, 10, 10, 10 out of 10. And JP will sit down there. But I do like, I think between JP, Connor, and Jeff, their shooting percentage, I mean, it's in the 80s on the season. Those guys are those guys are great. Oh, Connor. Let him run, guys. Let him run. Let the gazelle go. Kicks it. Jeff, wide open all day. In the rim and out. 38-30, still eight-point lead. Fast break. Aaron Ramirez kicks it. That's Eric Zanstra up. Draws a foul. On Dave Fernandez. And this referee is very confident. So confident, he felt the need to explain himself to the scores table, shake his head yes, and say, that was absolutely a foul. Just so Coach Woosley looking over at him would see, I mean business right now. <laughs> I'm not mad. I mean this is a foul. He shook it. You see him? He's coming to score. He's shaking his head. Yep, that's foul. Don't question me. <laughs> yeah, I, I think he knew he's going to hear it from Coach Woosley as well. Yeah, tough. Hey, props to the referee. He's making the tough decisions all day. Big rebound, Connor. Ball never lies. Jeff Woosley brings it up. Dave Merhalski checked into the game as well as Travis Wilson. Got Jeff bringing it up. Looks like they're going to try to take the last shot wise here with 15 seconds to go. Josh again, Travis Wilson's birthday. I know you mentioned yeah. it earlier. Happy birthday, Travis. Oh, almost. Oh, don't give them a shot. Oh, no. Connor with a block. Oh, that could have easily been an and one. Boy, John, we shot that a little early, and I thought we were going for the last shot. We waited 10 seconds, but then we shot it at about 9, 8, 7 range. And they had time to get up the floor. Clock management there. Got to hold off. But I think sometimes you get a look as a, as a score. You know, you get a look, and you just you want to get it. There we go. If we could on the next free throw, if we could angle it, that'd be great. I'm sure we can't, but to see Travis on his birthday. Come I saw on. him in the background. He had a smile on his face. Can Ryan tilt that free throw camera to see? Look there at Travis Wilson, 33 in white. That's awesome. Happy birthday, Travis. We love you, man. And Travis's family going through some tough times right now. His dad's been sick, and my goodness. Just glad he's healthy and he's healing up right now, recovering. So, Love Wes Wilson and what he means to Travis and to this team. And we're going to go out of the third quarter there, 38-32, six-point lead for the Swordsman.
Welcome back here to the fourth quarter. Six point lead Swordsman. Gonna be a tight one, John, and you said it. Heritage doesn't go away. Yeah. Yeah, it was off Heritage. Dave's just been right there all night. Every time it leaves his hands, Josh, I kills me. I have full confidence it's going in. And it is just short, rattled in, rattled out. Mm. Elijah Guzman swings to Esteban, to Jeff. Looking for Connor inside. Oh, careful. Wow. Man! John, were there 10 guys on defense right there? Because Connor went through like 10 bodies. Watch the replay. I mean, he's getting, getting absorbed by like three guys there. Finishes the shot. Oh, Connor got his legs taken out. He's down. I'm not sure if that replay cut off any of that play, but they took his legs out on that rebound. Connor once again with an Odell Beckham grab. I mean, three fingers brought that ball in, but then his legs got just taken out. Hope he's okay. Man, he fell right on his back, like right on the right on his tailbone. bottom of the tailbone. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, hope he's okay. That's that's a painful. Uh, refs talking about maybe a flagrant. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I would be absolutely livid right now if I was Coach Woosley. My guy just got his legs taken out, and they call it travel. He seems fairly calm. Now I'm questioning life right now. Like, did he try? Like, did I thought? Look to me like he got his legs taken out. Yeah, no, that's just how you rebound, Josh. You just you go up, you get the ball, you fall down. Yeah, and then you kick your legs out and fall on your back. That's what happens. There, fall over lives, boys. Boys. Work, boys. Come on, Jeff, push the fast break. Elijah, open ahead. He's going all the way to the rim. Oh, and Elijah Guzman, shake and bake, young man, right to the rim with the right hand. And John, just just some euro, just some touch on it, some English. Oh, man. Elijah, man, has some offense. The guy played point guard for years. I mean, he's great. He can score, too. Look at that. Good ball. <laughs> good D. Good D. Man. Josh, and that, that's Regnerus here, and he's trying to get going here. No! Oh, wow. Uh. Hmm. That sends Regnerus to the line. JP's third. Team's first here of the fourth. <laughs> Greg Neeris off the mark for the first. Substitutions here we got. This is number 12 for the defenders. Eddie Zantra back in the game. A quick one off the bench for the defenders. As Greg Neeris hits the second. Putting that lead to nine. Swordsman's next game here, Josh, as we just look to the future here just for a moment. We jump out of this game. Next Friday, we'll be here on HBTV live, FOFCA. Here's Jeff inside, up, nothing. Thought he got whacked. I mean, I, I am whole, I'm biting my tongue right now, boys. I'm gonna mute my mic in a minute. Elijah Cusman playing some good defense. We're working hard in there. Oh yeah, go ahead and call a foul there. Go ahead, why don't you just call a foul every time we touch anything. And then when Jeff gets hit in the face, let's just we just let it all. I mean, still zero fouls on Heritage. Hey, That's can great. we throw up that upcoming events Whew. graphic there, Ryan, before Josh just oh, blows man. up. Next Friday, FOFCA, um, later games here in the evening. So make sure notifications are on so you can tune into that. And then you saw at HSRC that following Tuesday. Here we go. What a call. Offensive illegal screen. Love that. I think the ref heard me. Appreciate it. And John, I don't need every call. I just want one. I just want one foul and a half, you know? Like, no, let's get you one. want every call, Josh. Don't lie. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't know why I led with such a false statement. I do want every call. Hey, but like one and a half would be great. You got uh, a foul. I'm happy. I, you know what? I'm not saying anything about the rest of the rest uh, of the game. They gave us that one. Uh, yeah, I'll another false statement. Here's Connor in the lane, up and in. Connor Lemon, 4-2. <laughs> You're serving me up right now, man. I, You got me, man. <laughs> Oh, Checkmate. There's a replay. Ooh. Here we go, Esteban. Good defense from the swordsman here. David got stuck behind the screen. 
and he's going to the line for two. Foul called there by the referee. Factual and correct all the time. Here's Eddie Zanstra to inbound Ryan Regnerus checking in the game. John, Eddie Zanstra did not start, but I feel like he should have been a starter. He's been playing really well this game. Yeah, him, Number and, 12. him and Eric Zanstra have been kind of swapping in and out. Oh. oh. Yeah, good effort from David. Pulling out his inner Messi there. <laughs> Just a little, little trap. Yeah, if you don't know, Dave Fernandez, excellent soccer player. The guy, I mean, he's great. Man, Eric Ramirez. There he is again. We got caught on a screen there. 44, 35, nine point lead still. Healthy lead, John. I'm happy with that. I'm glad we still have a nine point lead here. But now we got to protect it. Protect yeah. it. Good take, David. Oof, boy, got to be careful there. Right thought. Oh, there you go. Make a miss. We'll take it. Five minutes to go. Still lots of time, John, in yeah. this game against the team that doesn't quit. Like us, you know, they play hard. JP inlet pass there to Jeff. Jeff, three ball. Jeff Woosley from three. He's cooking right now. Look at this three ball. Assist Esteban Santos. Oh, my goodness. He's an archer. He's an archer from three. Launching arrows from deep. Nothing but the bottom of the cup. 47-35. John, that's a dagger. Yeah. Up 12. Be back in here in, in just a minute for the rest of our fourth quarter. Your swordsman up Oh, and a foul call there on Dave Fernandez. Going to go the other way. No, it was. No way. Yeah, no, it was foul on foul on number 20. Pot of gold. We'll take it. 47-35. HB ball. Jeff to walk it up here. And run some offense. Goes to Connor Lemon, number 11 here in white. Jeff Woosley up top to Esteban, down to David. David pump fakes the three, goes back to Jeff, and we are definitely in four corner offense here. Oh, good cut, Connor. Oh, good strong take. Third don't, time to don't charm, bring it down, JP. Big guy. And they call a foul, reach, gonna be on the ground. And they'll take it, I believe out of bounds on the baseline, on the ground they say. Hmm. Fourth foul there for number 14. In the building is Cole Carpenter? No way. Walked in the door. HBTV loyalist, man. Did great. Did great work here at HBTV. Miss him. Now an alum. As Connor Lemon gets the ball and swings to David. David thought about a three. And now up 12. Wow. Want a layup. And David gets a layup. His dad, Raul Fernandez, over there with the beanie. Loving it. Loving every second. Yeah, Loving playing every some second. Hacky sack in the timeouts. <laughs> Getting it going. Is another really? another great soccer player. Oh. Good D Jeff. That's 21. Ryan Regnerus dumping it to Smith. Smith's inside. And that'll be a foul on JP Garrett. Yeah, it came down. His fourth. Yeah, it can't come down. John, whoa. Whoa, what? Four, four fouls. JP, I think Coach did have that conversation. He said, let loose, JP. You're only playing half the game with sickness, you know. Why don't you just go all out? Because <laughs> he's got four fouls, still three minutes to go. He might foul out of this game yeah. as a halftime player, you know, essentially. And JP been dealing with sickness. This is part two, so if you missed part one, he has uh, been sick this whole week. First day back at school today. So, so limited minutes for him, but still managed to get four fouls. So playing hard. 
Yeah, Josh, it's just about filling up that stat line. Yeah. You know, it's just 100%. about filling it up. 100%. So. Why end the game with just one foul? I think you want, I, he needs to get a fifth, in my opinion. Connor at the wing. Jeff ooh, back ooh, cut. Ooh, yeah. Esteban. David at the at the wing here. David trying to take Aaron Regnerus. Good tough, ball Tough handling assignment, here. but held on. You're right. Connor up and draws a foul. Boy, John, now the fouls just all seemingly go our way. So I, you know, maybe mm. it was my decision to stop yelling at the referees. Maybe it's good karma. <laughs> no, it's it, this, this it's a hard job, man, to ref these games. Yeah. Every call could go any way. It's just so hard. I feel like we, we had the lead, Josh, and then it really exploded there as Connor Lemon just started to make his presence known. And Jeff really looking for him inside, telling him, hey, get in there. I'm going to feed you the ball, and you're going to eat. <laughs> and, man, Connor is full right now. Dude, he's full. He's been munching all night down there in the post, and, and no one can stop him. And, John, the crazy thing is Connor – He's not whipped out a single. I mean, he's maybe one or two jumpers this game. It's all yeah. layups. It's post play. It's gritty work, but he can shoot like crazy, too. Him and Jeff both can shoot. Great shooters, but just forcing the good shots, forcing the high percentage looks, and it's, they're reaping the benefits now. Oh, another guy that's been great tonight. Esteban Santos locked it down there without fouling. John, just straight up, but contesting enough to force the miss. Love it. Yeah, Esteban starting in JP's place tonight. And, Josh, you got to love the, the game that Esteban's had. Defensive, offensive, has had a bucket or two. A quiet night on the offensive end, but certainly filling a role there yes. that we need him to fill to come in to play defense, to grab boards, to take care of the ball. And he's done that tonight. And excited for him to get his first varsity start. And looking to finish this game strong with him in there. Yeah, and just right now, John, ball movement. They're not even looking to uh, to take open shots. They're, they're just strictly moving the ball. Oh, good defense. Man, and there he is again, John. Eddie Zanstra. Mullet and all. I mean, he is everywhere out there. He's just playing some good defense. And he's been on David. You know, he's been on David a lot of this game, and he's giving David fits. Oh, and here comes Aaron Rodneris guarding Jeff Woosley. Tough matchup. One to watch. Jeff. Big hop. I mean, he hopped from the free throw to the block there, it seemed like. And then took the quick lay. Nice take. Here's Smith. Eddie from the corner. Dude, what is going on? Drained it. Eddie Zanstra, he's crazy right now. I'm just curious why he didn't start. He seems to be one of their best two players. Hmm. I mean, it's been him and Aaron, Aaron Rignieris just offensively carrying these, this team. Oh, good defense there. Connor, Ooh. swing that ball. Need some ball movement here. Work it. Up 12. Minute 20 to go. Fourth quarter. Oh, and it had David on the cut. Hey, but just no need. Don't pressure it. Don't force it. Oh, and they're making him go left, and Jeff's like, brother, I'm left-handed. <laughs> I don't know if you understand. My dominant hand is my left one, and you're playing on my right side. Jeff. And most guys are right-handed, so you play them on the right, and maybe that's Aaron mm -hmm. Regnerus just thinking, like, hey, I'm going to be proactive, make him go away. But that's Jeff's way. That's his side. <laughs> you know, you can give it to him. But I think he just his eyes lit up, like, you're giving me the left. Good take there from him. First one's good. Line change here. Dave Merhalski checking in for Esteban Santos. And, John, Dave Merhalski, just the word you always use. Yep. Relentless. Yep. The guy's a fighter. And Jeff gets two of two. Again, Swordsman next game will be here on Friday, a week from tonight. FOFCA from Shanahan, Illinois, oh, yeah. coming over. And Josh, they got a good team this year. And we saw that at the Quinn yeah. Road Tournament. They're, they're a solid team. They're and point so guard, man. Looking forward to, to having them with us. And then Tuesday, January 20 or 30th, HSRC. And we've heard a lot about them this season, and that will be a great game, HSRC in our tournament. And you saw the dates for the tournament there, and so looking forward to that uh, as well. 
We thank you for joining us here on HBTV. And look forward to, uh, to closing out the season strong, Josh. We've had some great games, um, but I know the, the great ones, greater ones, are ahead of us as we close this season out. And, Josh, who knows? Maybe a dunk here in the building. Oh, stop. And oh, that, stop. That, that would be a great game. So I'm looking forward to that. Jeff up to David here, up 14, under a minute to go here. And John, just a briefly ago, Elijah Guzman fouled out of the game. Okay. With five fouls, and he yeah. hacked him down there. But he shoot, like he just whacked. Maybe wanted a break or something. Leave early. He hit him on the arm so hard, and then just walked to the bench. He's like, coach, the, the gym closes at nine. I got to <laughs> get gotta over go. there. Gotta, gotta get go. my deadlifts in for the evening. <laughs> Dave Merhalski up in, gets blocked, blocked again. <laughs> Two quick ones from Hunter Rignieris, who had a nice game in JV. And this guy's hitting it. I mean, he's been, he missed it, but he's been on all night. And here's Hunter Rignieris again. Travis Wilson, good defense. Force him to miss is Travis. Oh, wow, athletic save there. Just right into the back of the glass. He thought he was pushed. Six seconds to go here. It was a good hustle, though, by Alex Opoff. Worked hard all night. And that'll close it out. Swordsman, John, a 14-point win in a tight game that threw out. Big win there for the Swordsman. Trying to make the season perfect from here on. And some tough games coming up. This was a tough one as well. But great game. Good effort from the Swordsman. Yeah, yeah. thanks for tuning in, joining us here on HBTV. We'll see you next Friday night. Uh, same place, same time. Uh, as for now, John Woosley, Josh Conger, signing off. <laughs>